as I mentioned in a previous video, you want to have as much ready to go as possible so that you can use as much of your mix-up of epoxy as possible and not throw away too much of it. So here's what I'm going to do. I've got a bracket for here and then another one for the bottom. Those are ready to go. I've got all those corner blocks laid out. <clears throat> Four for here and then two for the nose. And I've got these laid out all the way along here. Remember half of these are 84 degrees, half are 96 degrees since this is one of the upper wings with the sweep. Uh, something I'll comment on right now. That mark right there, that's where the rib is supposed to go. But <clears throat> you can adjust them a little bit, or at least that's what I'm doing, so that they clear the drag wires. Um, some of them are right on the money. Some of them are off a half inch or maybe a little more. So they clear the wires. See, that's really close to the wire. There's no way I could have that on the wire. The instructions do say that you can cut the spruce and glue a new piece in place if you need to. And I'm sure that would be just fine. Um, but I just chose to scoot the ribs a tiny little bit. Um, if it would focus, you can, you can see the line there is... What's that, about a quarter inch? So anyway, then I've got this leading edge spruce strip that I'll glue in here. Um, so I've got all this stuff ready to go, and I'll glue it all up with one mix-up of epoxy. Now I'm going to fit the wingtip bow here. A couple comments. Uh, on the next one, I'll leave the square, the square portion here out further so I can put a gusset in this corner. I've got one here, but I'd like to add one here. It's not a huge deal, but I'll let the square part come out maybe a half inch past the rib. So now what I'm going to do is take um, a die grinder a pneumatic die grinder, but you could use a variety of tools. You could use just a file with your hand or a drill with a sanding drum on the end. And I'll grind these down a little bit. I want to get this to come around nice and smoothly and be supported by these guys and also have the width here of the spar uh, meld right into this piece of aluminum. Right now this is a little skinnier so I'll need to bring this back a little bit to a thicker spot and do the same thing here and I might need to change how far back I take one or the other of these so that they support this equally and then when that's done I'll cut this I'll leave a little bit extra initially and I'll take a hammer and flatten it out so it fits with the thinner the rib getting thinner right here. And then I'll take a little more off as I need to and do a little more fitting on those if I need to until it fits just right. Um, until it's parallel here with this and these two fit nicely and then it comes and butts right into this. So several things to keep track of as you work on that. But it's kind of fun to chip away at that and get a nice fitting wingtip bow.